Hey guys, my name is David and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do this video completely unexpected, completely unscripted and planned. I was just lying in my room thinking about doing it and I thought, what the hell, why put it off? I'll do it now. And that is another unboxing from the Abundable Book Club. This is the August box, which is the Full Guts version. For those of you who aren't, who aren't aware about this, this is a horror box, which is monthly, and it has two versions. One which is called The Bare Bones, which is just the books and the bookmarks, and The Full Guts, which is this one, which is the books, the bookmarks, and anything else that they want to put in it as well. Before I get into opening this, I just want to address the fact that they have changed their packaging. The feel of the box is different, so they've changed the material. It's still cardboard, but it, the texture feels different. The design of the box is slightly different as well. Not dramatically different. It's still got the black background and the red on it, and obviously the white to make it pop a little bit. But if you've been getting these boxes, boxes a while, it's enough to get the thing noticed a little bit, if that made any sense. And plus, it does actually have a label on it, a little, a little sticker, a seal. And on it, it says, made with fear in Wales. So, there you go. I wasn't aware that this came all the way from Wales. That's a long way. So, I will have the website for a bundle down below in case you want to check them out. I've been getting this box for over a year now. It's one year and two months, I believe it is. So yeah, link will be down below. So please check them out. And the people that do this are really, really, really friendly. So yeah, they're really awesome guys. Plus, I haven't actually looked at any videos for what's in this box, so I have no idea what's in this, so I'm going into it completely blind. And obviously they have all these cardboard shreds or shredding material in there, so I have to be careful not to get it all over my bed. First thing that we have is a bag of popcorn, and this is what it looks like. It's got a new label there, so I presume it's a new brand. And it's maple bacon flavor and it's it's vegan as well it's it's suitable for vegans oh well that's different and i've got an extra mini version of the popcorn which is the basic sea salt so that's that same thing as this but half the size so yeah yummy got the Bag of drinks, which are always the same thing, but I'll open it on camera anyway to show you what I've got. So this unboxing feels complete. So I have the standard cappuccino unsweetened. A couple of off-black tea bags here, which are green tea and black tea. And another one of these lovely, fantastic, not disgusting at all coffee tea bag things and a galaxy hot chocolate we have this sticker yeah sticker which is called possessed by horror and that's what it looks like it's a bit bent here and there but yeah can't grumble not sure if this is in regards to a book in it or whether it's just a odd thing that they've decided to, put, to actually put in there. Usually you don't get that many stickers in these boxes. So we have the Blind Mystery Book. This is a secondhand book, which is completely different no matter what box you get. So let's just open this up and see what I have got. See if it's anything good. It is a hardback book. Jonathan Kellerman or, Ke or Kellerman or whatever and this one is called Billy Strait and that's the cover I'm not sure what that's supposed to be 
I mean, the um, the X Files fan in me thinking that that's a little boy running through a lake or a field with all these stars and flying saucers around him, but yeah, that's just me. And it has a picture of the author in the back as well. Haven't heard of this book, haven't heard of this author. If you've heard about this guy or this book, please let me know down below. Yeah, intrigued about this one, intrigued. The synopsis is way too long for me to read. But yeah, let me know if you've heard about this one and let me know if you've read it. So we have the brand new book, which everyone gets no matter what box you get. And this one is called The Pool Bearers Club, which I love the title. And it's a Paul Tremblay book. I've been meaning to get into his work. I know that he's more well known for the cabin at the end of the world. Pretty sure that's what the title was called. And I've got one of his books, which I found in a charity shop, which happens to be a signed copy, which is called The Survivors, or something along them lines. I'm terrible with, with um, remembering titles of books. I'm not sure what to make the, the um, cover. It has maybe a spine or some vertebrae here, and it has three safety pins there. So yeah, I think I might go into this one blind as well, and not knowing a thing about it it's more fun that way and it is really short and um, yeah oh it's got pictures in it as well yeah and it's got writing in the margins of the book and things outlined as well so that's not someone writing in the book that's part of the book itself so yeah interested to read this one we have a pin here which oh this is this is funny it's slimer hopefully you can pick that up on camera it's really small and he's got like an ice cream cone and he's got a flake coming out of his head and he's a like a vanilla beigey slimer yeah not the best pin I've ever got from these guys. It's one that you've got to really look at it in order to know what it is. But, yeah, it's a welcome addition to my ever-growing pin collection. So we have a couple of bookmarks in there as well, which is the standard The Bundle Book Club bookmark with a short story on the back. And we have another bookmark which says, Sorry everyone, it's laundry day. Not sure what that's referring to, but that's what it looks like. On one side, it's got a picture of some woods in the background and some ghosts. And that's the other side as well. Same wooded background with several ghosts and whatever hell this thing is supposed to be. But, you know, I'm not sure what book this is referring to or movie. But if you know, let me know down below. But... It's cute, I like it. And we have this thing, the Gasling Magazine, which is book number 15. Tales of Ghosts, the Macabre, and the Oh So Strange. And it has a list of all the authors. So that is the cover. Ooh, there we go, just um, yeah. see a bit closer. And there's a lot going on in this cover. And that's the list of the authors in this. And that's the back. Pretty much what this, what, what, what this is, if I can say anything today, is a kind of anthology short story collection. Got several of these in my room. Still need to get to them. I will at one point. Maybe in October I will read a bunch of them and you know, at least say that I have read them. It has these pictures in it. Let's see if I can find any more. And yeah. So I'll be reading this one at some point. Maybe in, the, maybe in October. So yeah guys, that's it. That is what I've got for my box for August. As always, Abominable hasn't disappointed. They've sent me some interesting things. Some good snacks. 
standard drinks, nice bookmarks, a oddball sticker, and a unusual pin that you have to look at in order to know what it is, which will probably go straight on my bag, and some books, which I'm not sure what to make of them, so I'll have to look them up on Goodreads and see what people say about these. But it's always good to get new books by different authors that you have never heard of, both new and old. But yeah, that's all I really have to say, guys. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books, as I said repeatedly throughout, there throughout this video. Let me know if you have any questions about this subscription box. And yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.